What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to set up and we're going to review this stereo hybrid tube amp made by Mono Price. Now this looks like an old school tube amp but it has some new school technology in it. And this is actually a 2017 amp, 2016 amps. I heard it had some issues with the transformer humming but I haven't experienced that in this particular amp. I maxed it out the volume and it sounds crystal clean uh, so I have yet to uh, experience that issue this amp sounds really great I've been running it for about a week and making sure that I'm not uh, you know reviewing a bad product so so far so good after a week and I've been using it every day now with um, this particular stereo hybrid tube amp you don't get Dolby surround sound. There's no subwoofer hookup. There's no 5.1 um, speakers and stuff like that. It has a really cool Frankenstein Tesla design to it. If you love electronics and you like to see electronics work, this amp may definitely interest you. And with the lights turned down low, you can see the vacuum tubes glow orange, which is really awesome and charming. Now, this is really intended for like an office or small room just to chill out and listen to your music and get lost in your music watching your amp just glow orange. They come pre-installed with these Chinese vacuum tubes. They don't sound the best, they don't sound the worst, they just sound okay. Now if you want, later on you want to upgrade to better vacuum tubes, you check out the Russian vacuum tubes, they're a higher quality and um, the preamp tubes from England are a good quality as well. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description below. This guy made a, a audio sample of different kinds of preamp tubes and you can really uh, get an idea what kind of sound that you're looking for. So that's another cool thing besides looking amazing is that you can upgrade the tubes to customize to your own listening uh, preference. So if you like a brighter sound or a louder sound or a warmer sound, you could get that preamp tube and just plug it in and that's all you have to do and to um, take it out it's easy to do uh, you should really use a glove if you're ever going to remove these tubes but you want to unplug the power cord and to remove the tube you just grab it from the bottom right here and then you wiggle it out these vacuum tubes are ranged between five to ten bucks but the gold line uh, preamp tubes are like I think 40 bucks each but people, it has a five star rating, people love them. All right, so let's go ahead and I just remove this one. Now the oil is on your finger. If it gets on the glass, it'll shorten the life on the vacuum tube. So you can wipe down the vacuum tube you know, afterwards or just use a glove. But if you look right here, there's a space, a gap. And that gap is important when you plug in the new vacuum tube because in the socket there's a gap too. It only goes in one way, so you can't really screw that up. Yeah, so this is actually, a, there's a J right here letting you know the brand of the vacuum tube. And uh, part number on this one is 6N1. But uh, in the manual they tell you there are other ones that would uh, fit in this too. So. 6N1 is just the part number, but you could put, there's other ones that you could put in as well. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna plug this one back in. Hopefully I'll get it the first shot. Oh yeah, got lucky. And you just wiggle it down and that's it. And they last between like five to seven years. When someone says, hey, I, I like the uh, sound of a tube, a tube amp, they express is that it sounds warmer and richer than uh, a solid state amp. Technically what that means is that on the peak and the bottom of the audio signal, there's soft clipping going on. And on a solid state amp, there's hard clipping. So if you're listening to uh, just a standard solid state amp, uh, which is a transistor amp or a amp that has a uh, power IC in it, there's hard clipping on the very peak and the very bottom of the signal. So it's, sometimes it sounds colder, but you really have to have an ear for it. Now, my son plays Rocksmith, which you plug in your electric guitar and your PlayStation 4 or Xbox, and you could basically just jam out on, you know, using that video game. And I thought it would be really cool to listening 
to listen to um, the Rocksmith game, you know, all those cool songs, the rock songs on um, two band. Right here is the power button. Right here is the treble. I like it at two. Uh, the bass right here, I like it right there at nine or 10. Is the audio signal right here. And, you know, of course, the more, the louder the song, you listen to rock music, you'll see that needle bounce around. Uh, here's your audio input, analog audio input, uh, right here. You can plug in your CD player or a record player, or I'm gonna plug in actually um, my TV out audio out cable, and it's gonna be plugged into the amp. It has Bluetooth, so you go um, listening to your music from your phone. The Bluetooth is version 4.0, and it has APTX, which means it has very low audio latency audio lag basically and this is the volume control no remote but there's a workaround I'm gonna show you how to work around that and here's your quarter inch headphone jack and of course you can use an adapter to plug in other headphones as well so let's spin this around and this goes for under two hundred dollars I'll leave a link in the video description below with that audio sample video of that uh, other youtuber so this is the audio out from my TV all right, and that's gonna go right into the only input. White goes to white, red goes to red. That's the only input on this amp. Now there is a, another amp that has two inputs. But as long as you have your cable box, your Xbox, your PlayStation 4, all connected to your TV, all, the H, all those HDMI cables connected to your TV, you can connect, connect a single audio out to your amp. So I actually have multiple multiple devices connected to my TV that I could choose from using my my TV remote right here and, and then I got my speaker right here and this comes with the amp this is a mono price four inch two-way speaker this is a six ohm 50 watt speaker pretty decent actually and the quality is pretty decent I like the finish on this look at that it's pretty nice actually and there's the vent right there. And it's just plug and play in the back. And these cables that come with it are pretty freaking nice. Look at that. They're pretty generous with this uh, wiring. Look at that. And then of course black goes to black. You just plug it in. And then red goes to red. And you just plug it in. Real easy. And this pops off as well. And you can see the front there's your highs and there's your mid and it does have bass if you want to um, really improve the sound on this amp definitely look at um, upgrading your preamp tubes and upgrading your speaker uh, polk is a good speaker clips is another one all right so this is going this is on the left side of the entertainment center so i'm going to connect it to l right here it's labeled l for left obviously and then just plug it in. Super easy to set up. Here's the Bluetooth antenna, so you can play your music from your phone. And that just simply twists on. All right. And the range is about 30 feet. And then here is the other one. I gotta spin that around. And here's the power cord. It's just a standard power cord like your PC would use or TV would use and let's go ahead and plug that in alright and that's pretty much it alright so let's go ahead and turn it on and we can check out the sound put all this wire in that hide the wiring a little bit alright and I have it connected to a smart plug. So even though it has no remote, if you use a smart outlet like this one, and there's a many, many different brands. This is a Samsung one, um, but there's many different brands, brands of uh, smart outlets that work. Hey Google, turn on amp. Go. 
gonna go ahead and uh, lower the lights so you guys get an idea what it looks like at night. All right. I found it right away. MP tube. Click on that. Pairing. Your phone is connected. That is fast. All right, so now let's go ahead and play some YouTube safe music. Control the volume using your phone or the TV and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the, um, the TV to control this amp. So let's go ahead and that gives you just a small sample um, what it sounds like, what it looks like at night. I like the fact that they're used uh, orange right here and orange light right here and uh, it really matches the orange glow in the preamp tubes. And I switch it now to the TV. Now what you want to do is you want to hit menu and then you want to go to your settings, your TV settings, and let's go to audio and go to TV speakers. Now you want to turn off the TV speakers, so just click on off. All right. And now you get back out of that. Yep, and it's working. All right. Now if you want the volume louder, you just raise the volume. All right, and when you raise the volume on the TV, instead of listening on the TV speakers, it goes straight to the audio out signal to your amp. It gets pretty loud actually, and then you get hit mute of course, mute, and uh, it all works through your remote. So even though the amp has no remote, you still can use your TV remote and you could use a smart outlet to control the device which is pretty amazing. If you guys are interested in this tube amp just uh, check out the link in the video description below. If you guys thought this video was informative give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way subscribe to Tampa Tech click on this link right here or the subscribe button down below. If you know anyone that may be interested in this tube amp click on the share button below and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.